Oh. Yeah. Oh, and the Jeopardy 30-second timer. Take that, R-L-M-U. That's Gramsci. Live. Live on the dork table. She's duty in for you. And Who sings in the shower? I sing yeah. when I do, 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 she do, 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 does do, that do. too. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Grim, but that's what you get for free around here. Anyway, <laughs> thanks a lot for giving us a place to do, 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 do at. <laughs> well, I you never a know. Yeah, you you never know when your family might like turn on you. You got nowhere you can do these things. You have to do a med. I know. RLM or nothing. <laughs> yeah, so this is still the dork table, and I'm still Flash, and she's still crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but in a good way. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Well, it depends on what side of the spoon you're on, I suppose. <laughs> But, well, if you're on yeah. the serving spoon mm. side of the doo doo, yeah. mm. you're you're doing better than the person that's on the receiving end of that dollop of doo doo. Yeah, but happened too. Okay, we got <laughs> bots and bodies. You want to say hi, or <laughs> you want to just do a show without even mentioning the bots and bodies? Oh, I'll say hi to the bots and bodies. You do? Do what? Bitty what? Here we fucking go. I knew it. <laughs> okay. Wow. What have you been smoking again? Anyway. Um, it's, it's Barman. I, I know. <laughs> Barman, right up top, yeah. the most splendiferous bot in the whole wide Jeez. world, closely followed by yeah. Beetle. Beetle. Hey, Beetle. Hey, Beetle. How Beetle. you doing? Yeah. He's Beetle. Dooby dooby doo. Yeah, Mary Jane <laughs> is down under. She's Ooh. down under for a fish in from the mob, eh? Yeah. Ah. I screwed that. <laughs> it was like I couldn't decide what atmosphere I was from. Yeah, you're oh. like Crocodile Real Dundee. <laughs> <laughs> I got duty for brains, yeah. maybe, today. No, that could be it. Nah, you do. I probably ought to go. I'll go talk to Ola, what's his face, Jerry Nadler. He doesn't seem to have a problem with releasing the duties at the podium and then doing the shit walk. Well, no, he he was standing off to the side. But, I mean, if if the man is in that bad of health in the first place, what's he doing there in the second place? You know, I really almost enjoyed the little duty walk. Almost. But then I felt bad for him. Yeah. I was like, dude, seriously. You need to change your depends or something. Or start wearing one, but mm. it was just... Mm, could well, be. It's hard to, for me to, to laugh at other people's illness. That looked like somebody that was getting ill right in front of everybody, and it was not expected, but it happened. So oh. I, I'm not amused by it. Speaking of someone that's getting ill right in front of God and everyone, mm-hmm. I I was listening to a video last mm-hmm. night and it said something about go check out Bad Sushi <gasps> on YouTube. It's no. like a two minute video, yeah. and they said, honest to God, it looks like Barbara Bush is croaking off Bush <sighs> Senior. Wow! And so it was like, okay. dude, talk about bad duty. Ooh. Oh well. In any case, back to saying, "Hey, Weirdo. Grimner, the RLM God yeah. is here, don't yeah. you know? Grimner. As well as the lovely Moose Goyle, and they Moose were on last Girl. night doing yeah. the Freakers Cause Ball. Cause, why? Because yeah. they're freaky and because mm. they can. Because they, they feel like it. Freaky. That's right. Try telling it's them. It's almost to. like a James Gang kind of thing, you know? <laughs> a Grim's Gang. Um, I also. <laughs> I also see the lovely Miss Kate. How you Miss doing, Miss Kate? Kate? As uh, well as Anti hey, and the Asmodeus Asmo, Asmodeus, Asmo, the Asmodeus one. We also see a Chelsea Denis without the O going on because Asmo stole it. And Dayum Van Meter and Dayum oh, Van Meter. I've wow. seen that picture you posted on Instagram. Dayum, Dayum. Just saying. Duh is also here. My, Duh. By the way, my gate don't swing that way. I am Duh. a pole dancer. I Uh-oh. am not. Whoops. <laughs> Wait. Somebody <laughs> trying to sell you the carpet. What's going on here? 
Hillary was telling me it would be good for you, and I thought, oh, no, yeah. I've seen Uma. No, Ooh. we ain't going there. Okay. <clears throat> well. In any case, Uma says she smells like cooked cabbage. Wow, we, this isn't funny anymore. Stop it. Jeez. Oh. You're going to give me trauma. <laughs> Wow! Well, uh, you told me I was making your tumor. I'm a so sensitive. I'm really trying to. I'm leeching the system. I'm a sensitive now. non-voter. These these ideas could sure traumatize me. What do you mean? Sure you are. I am. Uh huh. Yeah. And <laughs> and where am I at? I don't. Oh, oh duh duh. Hey, you said duh. Duh. Me. Duh. I need it. Duh. It's me. Just stop it. But duh. I, no. There's a there's a flash That's somebody me. here too. Yeah. Hmm. Right I'm under, sure right, that, right that above, person. rumpy work. Yeah, there's, there's a. Who's right work. above? He needs to talk to Anna, because he needs a vowel. But he's not sitting, a vowel. That's the do 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 do. He's sitting on top do of Graham Z. Diddy wop, diddy wop, <laughs> Graham Z is here <laughs> as well as <laughs> JJ. No, 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 JJ. That's Scottish feller oh, with the kilt kilties. just flapping in the breeze. Flapping. Why? <laughs> 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 wow. <laughs> wow. Hey, you flipped wow. my switch yeah, before I the show, that. and this is what happened. I okay? see that. <laughs> yes. yes. I also see okay. Meister Browers here. Meister hey, Brown. buddy. Hey. We got a prince here. Hey, prince. prince even. Not purple. Well, we got him in the room. Yeah, I just got purple in my hair. He's not the purple one. I also see Rob Woikes is here. Did you fire hey, Bubbler? Hey, the I Bubbler's here. I, cool. Not that I necessarily needed it. Oh, yeah, he did fire that Bubbler up and sent it around. Sweet. Uh, we got a trust no one who is just an untrusting fellow. That's just all there is to it. doesn't even trust himself sometimes, I think. <laughs> and you know what? No. There are times when you really probably shouldn't trust yourself. Like, <laughs> like you know, you go, okay. <laughs> Demon craps him. <laughs> Vote. I also, I know, I'm, I'm being funny. Oh, man. I also see the lovely Miss Vanna White, the letter turning bot of the RLM channel, as well as Weather Dork, who is following closely behind her. With a southerly breeze, mm -hmm. trying to get that long skirt to go up. Honey, you're going to have to blow harder. That's all there is to it. We got a phantom in the room. It's a the phantom. phantom. It's a phantom. The phantom. Oh, no. It's a phantom. <laughs> Tell me. You really do have to it's, one, okay. it's one of my favorite films I ever saw. And it's, it's a B film. It's not a good quality movie. But it's just fun. The Those Phantom, are usually the best ones. The fan, yeah, it's horrible. The Phantom of the Paradise by Paul Williams, but uh, it, it's oh, actually yeah. it's like a it's almost a comedy. <laughs> you got to see it to judge it. It's almost a comedy without even trying to be funny. One of the well, things. Yeah, I don't know if they were trying to be satirical or not, but they were. <laughs> 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 I understand that. Yeah, I there you go. You. Sometimes I also you just see the lovely Miss Chloe E E and Chloe E E E. Oh, we yeah. got a <laughs> trifecta E going on there. Mm -hmm. Where's the? There's no regular Chloe, just just the ones with the extra E's on the end. Probably and, just the NSA having fun. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. Well, I hope they're having a good time. If you guys are really bored, I'll do some more do do. do <laughs> no, do, Mary, do. you don't have to do that. Oh, okay. Thank no. you. No, I forget. <laughs> I see it. I yeah. see a cyborg noodle as well. Hey. You'll be touched by that cyborgian noodliness you. of it all, all you NSA listeners. Bot, 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 you. Hey, mental, yeah. how the hell are you, you old bastard? Yeah, we got a Dork Cakes in the house. And mm. we got an end sieve, which, Ew. sit back, grab you some popcorn, Ew. a little adult beverage, or a large, depending on your thirst, and watch the end of civilization as we know it. Yeah. Doesn't mean it's the end of the wild. Oh. Or the end of the world as we know it, just the end of civilization yeah. as we know it, which is not necessarily a bad thing when okay. you look at all of the mostly pre mm. peaceful protesters out there. Oh, those Moving idiots. Along. Yeah. I also see a frumpy, frumpy, frumpy from oh, look, the, the dark uh, anthem. Cool, an they anthem? did an anthem for us. Wow. How awesome. That's so cool. Three and a half I may have minutes. To to that later. Wow. Hmm, 
let's see, where was I at? Swampy. Matt, WJ2002, is also in the house as well as Papa Papa Ponsaw. Pop, 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 we got pop, a smart ass. Smart ass. It's a smart ass spot in the world. Fun in the world. We also got the holiest Roger ever on the Ami Ami Ami, and to round out the crew of yeah. all those hanging here in the RLM yeah. chat, yeah. Z-Pix, the, the one and only, no yeah. matter what anybody else says. <coughs> and that there link, Rob, was not accepted by this here country. Have to use a different VPN to open it, so. Hmm. I found it. I found it. I can listen to it. I'll listen to it. Yeah, but... Oh, they painted their brick. Who in their right mind paints brick? Uh, what the hell? Let's not, let's not discuss that at this time. Oh, that's right. I did say who in their right mind. Yeah, and seriously, this is the dark table. Mm. Who in their right mind would listen to a fucking program called the dork table in the first place, you dork? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's F A W A I N. Being, yeah, but see, being as I, Flash, am a sexist. I decided that today we would give your side of the coin a little attention. So I named today's Sweet. show Miss Mary the First Her Storian. I am a her historian. Yeah, I think you are. Dun, 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 dun. Well, well, Where's well, the drum roll? I don't Where's know. Where's the angels no, singing? No, but there should be angels singing. I think it just depends on the. You got to look at it through a sexist light to see. Oh well, my dog barked. My angel singing. sexist <laughs> side of this here coin, because I thought, hey, I've got history, hmm. but you know what? I don't got. I don't got no history. Hmm. Maybe I should create some and see what happens. Yeah. I'm like so Dr. Grammy Switch, and yeah. she'll give you all kind of herstory. Like Dr. Moreau with words. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's kind of scary, actually. So now, yeah, okay. well, we're going to give you the opportunity to be the first documented herstorian <laughs> of the 21st century. <laughs> Well, you know, if you're going to go all sexist like that and try yeah. and be equal with, with the naming, they should yeah. no longer be called just hurricanes. They should be hurricanes and hemicanes. <sighs> but see how ridiculous that whole thing is? You know, when when you break Boy, it down yeah, and you put it like that, it just kind of sounds stupid to pick a word apart to the level of gender. That's just ignorant. But, but we're trained to do There's no it. such thing as gender. Gender is uh, fluid. And yet, we're going to have a gender reveal party. What? Hmm. What? Well, you know what? I, I suppose... <clears throat> okay, but you know what? you got to give mm-hmm. you got to give the politicians and the TV people some credit here. And they spend a lot of time and a lot of money figuring out how to get people to think on wavelengths that they want them to think on. That me and you don't think on. We've evolved beyond that shit, or we stagnated and never evolved to it, however you see that bullshit. Therefore, we don't recognize what they recognize. No, I don't recognize what they recognize, because they're wearing a mask. Whereas me, you know, you started me off with the whole gender split thing, and yeah. I said, yeah, that, and then there's gender poles. Because... Yeah. <laughs> You split to That's it. She's, and the amazing uh, thing about the gender split and a gender pole is the puzzle pieces fit together. Sometimes they fit better than others, but you know you got to find the right puzzle piece in order to get them to fit right. Okay, that uh, was my story, and I'm yeah. sticking to it. <laughs> well, see, that's the the whole point of this is you have your side. So. Hmm. And, yeah, on the side's okay. Right, but people get, when they speak to each other, we get caught up in that drama shit about right and wrong. Big time. Oh, I know. man. Does it fucking slap you in the face when you talk to other people and somebody's got to be fucking right all the time? And have, you well, know you what? Wait, it gets worse. What? They They okay. want me to have facts. Can you, the nerve of these people, they can't just take my fucking word for it. They want proof. Can you go figure uh, out? Flash. What? That's because you're a, a Mexican. 
And you know how the Jewish say, fuck you. It's trust uh, me. Trust me. Trust me. Yeah. We'll give you a nice return only, on your investment. Yeah. That's my favorite say, line. Yeah. You would say, trust me, senor. Well, <laughs> you got the Mexican not too. since I learned how to speak English properly, you crazy woman. Ah. <laughs> anyway. Stop teasing me about my heritage or I'll get all sensitive. <laughs> heritage? Why isn't it hematage since it's a god? I don't know it. Uh, I didn't write this fucking language. I just I just use it. I, I didn't write it either. That's why I like yeah. to mess with it. You know what? I you know, it's just like nowadays uh, you can't even be right or left anymore because hmm. they politicized all that shit. I'm left-handed, but I don't want to tell everybody oh, I'm lefty. Yeah, and they go, oh, you're one oh. of them. I'm, like, no, I'm, not. I'm right with my left hand. But do almost everything else with my right hand. So I'm yeah. kind of sort of, you know, I write and I eat with my left hand. And everything else is ambidextrous. Wow. And I'm fat. <laughs> I wonder if they, even, if they even use that word southpaw in sports anymore. Because they used it when I was a kid. That's how I know it. But I wonder if I today, know, if you say Southpaw, it's, it's, what? yeah, because that's that's sidest. S- yeah, that's well, sidest. I, see, sidest. and and I thought all this stuff was overblown bullshit that people were just making jokes about. And it turns out to be true to a degree. I was not prepared to handle. Hmm. You know, I actually, and I don't remember <sighs> where in the hell it was. Hmm. I'd heard a video. Yeah. And they said, uh, it was, oh, I know, when they were talking about how that Playboy reporter kept pointing the devil finger at Trump. And I'm thinking, devil finger? I didn't see no devil finger, but I'll watch the video again to see if I can find it. But he said it was almost like he was trying to cast a spell on him. And it's like, ding, 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 winner, winner, chicken dinner. Somebody else is finally cottoning to the fact that they are casting spells upon you. Hooga, 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 booga. Oh, you don't believe it then? What What are you saying? Oh, I know the English language is a spellcasting language. Cripes, I mean, if Mm. I can play with it as much as I do, Mm. and people still understand or kind of get where I'm coming from, Mm -hmm. you know it's a language of manipulation, which is Mm -hmm. verbal spellcasting. That sounds very bad. Uh, I would not want to sign up for that. But I'm in it, so now what do I do? Holy shit, Now you shit, just have Batman. to deal. Trust mm. me, darling. Mm. It's all going to be okay. Trust me. Well, but that's what I hear, and in a similar kind of accent, and so far, so good. And no matter how bad they threaten me, eh, I'm not playing. But, eh. Yeah. Well, I, I, it's know, hard to... What? Pardon me? It is very difficult to see this thing as a hoax and lie about it and pretend it's real. I can't see the point in doing that. But I don't have enough time in my life to explain to every fucking individual person I ever know again why I don't believe in it. The hoax. Well, I don't, yeah. And you know another crazy thing? Hmm. Is that um, the other day... Miss Dana Ashley, which I enjoy her. She she does an awful lot of research when she does her videos. But she was, I started watching one the other day and I couldn't finish it. I I love you, Miss Dana Ashley, but I couldn't finish it because mm. she was talking about you know prophecies and mm. people having prophetic dreams. Oh. And I'm not gonna diss anybody that has prophetic dreams. Hell, I've had some prophetic dreams myself. But you know, she was in the same sentence. She said she, that she and others were having prophetic dreams, hmm. and then other people are out there doing this MK Ultra, trying to implant stuff into your mind. And I'm thinking, hmm. how do you know your prophetic dream wasn't implanted in your mind? Wow. And it's an MK Ultra kind of thing. Hmm. So I, you know. I love her to pieces, but it's like, honey, you just put it out there that MK Ultra stuff is real, and that they put shit in people's minds right. and Makes make it real. people, yeah. you know, make people either react a certain way or act a certain way or talk a certain way or what have you. And, and it's yet, so 
these prophetic dreams of the world is coming to an end and there's going to be a purge of Christians and it's going to be FEMA camps and all this other shit. Yeah. And it's like, okay, number one, dreams are never straightforward like that. Mm. Ever. There's going to be an awful lot of interpretation in any dreams. Uh. You talk to anybody that does any kind of dream analysis and, and they will tell you. Mm. That's not the way it works. Oh. You know, I... I had a dream that my oldest daughter died, yeah. and I freaked out, and I yeah. had it three nights in a row. Yeah. And I mean, I was waking up bawling. Yeah. And I got out one of my books that my mother gave me on how to interpret dreams. Yeah, and it's always and different. And, yeah, your dream and, is different than your reality. Yeah, yeah, and basically what the dream was telling me was that she was going to have a major life change. <laughs> there was going to be something major happen. Mm -hmm. And two days later, my daughter called me and told me she was pregnant with my first grandchild. Ding, ding, ding. Mm -hmm. Major life change. Racist. So, you know, yeah, the she was having the end of one life path and getting ready to start on another one. Yeah. So, you know, it's not just because you're seeing all of this shit in your dreams, that doesn't mean that that's what's going to actually happen. Besides the fact that I don't think any prophecy is carved in stone, I think they're all warnings. You know, I think it's just something to say, you know, you keep going down this path you're on. It's kind of like what mom always said. You know, you keep hanging out with them, you're going to wind up getting in trouble. And sure as shit, very prophetic my mother is, because I'd hang out with people and I'd wind up getting in trouble. Was it a self-fulfilling prophecy? I have no idea. But prophecies are not written in stone. They oh. are just a warning sign for okay. you to, you know, if you keep going with this shit, this could happen. Well, then I got so, another you know, one for you. If they don't want the world to yeah. come to an end in a fiery inferno, don't light the freaking match. Okay. Take a little bit of personal responsibility and do something to change it in your neck of the woods. Ooh. But would you, you would you like to give our listeners some tips? On, for example, on enjoying uh, the government ass rape that we get. You know, you can avoid most of those rapings if you just kind of try and stay out of the system as much as humanly possible. Now, granted, the system ha is an all-encompassing big old honker spider web or maze, if you will. Probably both. But hmm. if you try and, you know, like trying to cut through the hedges... Of a maze. People have a tendency to notice that shit. You know, so pay attention to what you're doing. Try not to step on any triggers. And God, God knows there's an awful lot of people that get triggered easily anymore. Why is it called getting triggered? Are they pulling a gun on their emotional side? Is that what the deal is? Oh, man. Oh, you just triggered me. You just shot off my emotion. Oh, I did, did I? Awesome. Cool. Really? I'm powerful. Ooh. Instead of saying, wow, I actually let you ah, get me pissed off. The I let you. Because that's what you're doing. You're letting them. Well, ain't you just a helpful kind of radio personality? So, you know, start mm -hmm. taking some... Start taking a little bit of that control back and don't let them... Don't let other people push your buttons. Just start looking at it like, oh, that was interesting. I'm happy for you. And then walk away, if nothing else. I mean, mm. I, I, I've got people in my life that love to push my buttons. I really? push my buttons. No. You're just saying that, right? Well, I do. Anything you want to bitch about in particular? <laughs> nah, not really, oh, okay. because you, uh, it's to well, the point now where it's just not, it's not worth my time and effort okay. to spend that mental time on it. It's like... Then I, I got, got better things to think about. Right. Like, do, 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 do. I got a better do, one do, for you. Hold on. <laughs> how how about our zero responsibility leadership? Where everything is blamed on the problem and nobody steps up with any answers. They've just got more orders for you to follow because they don't know what they're doing. Oh, yeah, there's a shitload of finger pointers in the world, and they do not understand that you point a finger at somebody else, which, by the way, have you ever noticed when you look at your hand and you're pointing a finger, mm -hmm. it looks like a gun. 
You're just triggering somebody. Trigger! Trigger was a horse. In any case. Nigger! It, well, if you look, you notice you got one finger pointing away from you. You got one finger pointing up towards God or whatever the hell up. You're pointing up. Uh, ooh, and the other three are pointing other. back at yourself. Yeah, you religion. Mm. Now you're a religion. Mother. You said Perhaps God. you don't fall for the bullshit. Said the G word, I heard you. You won't get so much bullshit. Mm. Perhaps if you put up boundaries to where people just understand, uh, no bullshit allowed yeah. here. Yeah, but the, see, there's people I, I joke around with. Is that not bullshit? There is bullshitting with somebody. Mm hmm and then there's feeding someone a load of bullshit. And oh. quantity, that's the difference. Oh. Oh. You know, because when you're feeding someone a load of bullshit, yeah. you basically have to have EPA permits, and I really don't want to yeah. deal with the EPA. Oh, come on. Triplicate. Zero responsibility so. leadership looks very difficult, but it never accomplishes anything. It's just a lot of people passing paper around, blaming the other guy for what nobody did. <laughs> it's killing trees. I'm telling you, well, these things that they talk of exist in ways that they don't define properly. See, So they cover a problem, but they misinterpret the way the problem exists so that you only know part of something, is what I'm saying. See, and I think yeah. it's the, the person on the receiving end that misinterprets. It's the uh, mistranslate. Okay, well, look at how far no you... Okay, but let, let's... Communicate. Well, let's... They, it's not a miscommunication on their part. They are doing that on purpose. Purpose, and right. Again, that is yeah. all part of the spell casting of the language. Because if you go back far enough in, in what we have as far as written history about inoculation, you'll find out that the, the whole thing is a fraud. It's horrible. They never cured anything. They See, what the newspaper claimed was way different than the results of what took place. The newspapers have all been just a bunch of bullshit stories for a long, long time. And right up to the minute that we're talking right now. And even the TV. I swear I saw this on a, a misleading uh, information on the Internet. You know, telling people the truth about a mask that it says on the package is somehow misleading if you do it on the Internet. Wow, these oh, yeah. these people are, they're fucked. I mean, look at the results, Mary. It's so bad. And nobody in politics will actually step up and, and uh, take a negative. They all step up when there's something positive. And this Fauci guy is such a bullshit man. He, nothing he says matters to anybody. But they do whatever the newspaper tells them. It's very weird. He's he's just a bullseye on the dartboard. Well, zero responsibility leadership. Blame the short guy. The short Jew did it. And then, you know, he's protected by, hey, he's a Jew. You can't do that. Okay. He'll kill you. Fauci's just a what? skin suit that's encasing... <laughs> A bunch of shit. Okay, but they're blaming him for the results of what all these governors and presidents and world leaders did. Supposedly, they did it on his uh, opinion. <laughs> uh, okay, he well, well. <laughs> he played both he, sides of the coin. <laughs> what a bitch. He played his part Fuck just it. as well. And, and you know, that was uh, the thing with Dangleberry. Everybody's so pissed at Dangleberry. Uh, I, I think Dangleberry did an excellent job of portraying what he was supposed to portray. Uh, he and, conned you guys. I saw a swishy nigger right from the beginning, and I oh, got told to I shut did. up because the black people were going, oh, you're just a racist. Fuck a racist. This fucking pig couldn't. He won't help you, you idiot. See, and he reminded me entirely too much of my dad, who was a very manipulative, very narcissistic man. And they're so yeah, he nice. Was my dad, but they're nice. And bless his heart, you know. And you know, you look at you look at how he was raised and what he was allowed to get away with. And yes, he was allowed to get away with an awful lot of shit. But my dad was a very manipulative, very narcissistic individual. And as soon as I saw Obama, I thought, oh, dear God, it's my dad. All over. <laughs> shit. 
Okay, but you were talking about vaccines and inoculations. Uh, There is a thread here, and I'm going to post it in the chat from Anonymous Uh, Sage over on Twitter. (laughs) He's got like 400 Mm. plus instances. Mm. Oh, where we were lied to? Yeah, yeah. You know, about vaccines and inoculations Uh, and stuff. Once again, one more it's story. another manipulation yeah. of the words. Yep. And that's something. And so my my paranoid stand of it's all bullshit no matter what it is seems to be holding some water here. I'm feeling rather uh, proud of myself for being so, uh, what do they call that? Hmm. I dissent. No, nah, they just say I, whatever the fucking crowd's going for, I, I want to go the other way. <laughs> It's my nature. I just don't, I don't trust the crowd. The crowd is a big disappointment to me. So, nah, pass. Well, yeah. But I don't know what that's got to do with uh, anything more than most people will listen and I just shut them right out. Now, heard it all before, fuck And here we are in 2020 in the world's deadliest pandemic to ever hit mankind and Shut down economies <clears throat> and trala fucking law, and it all turned out to be a, a financial collapse disguised as a virus. <laughs> How, oh, yeah. What do you guys need to see? Wait until the reset. They, they're telling you there's a reset coming. It's not a secret. Oh, yeah. It's not me just making shit up, going, ah, but it's happening right in front of you. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. And it's been long overdue, long overdue. Yeah, but they're going to kill the cash, and then what, you're going to have all these fucking people that are, in the last year were were supporting their self and eating every day are suddenly to be cast out in the street and told to fend for their fucking self. And the supply lines have all been demolished. So, nah, this is a mess. Well, yeah, and that's that's the ugly side that they want everyone to be afraid of. And oh and, my God, cashless society! And yet, if you just yeah, it's horrible. A little bit on the, uh, I think it's one small community mm. movement mm. and Ubuntu movement. No, oh, that doesn't have to be scary like that. Now I understand but it's going to be humanity as a whole is not quite ready for that. <laughs> they aren't ready for the whole mindset shift of. Hey, wait a minute. We don't need money. We just have to quit being such gimme, gimme, gimme assholes. <laughs> I agree I with you, Mary. It. It's just too you funny. Owe yeah. Me. Yeah. The world don't owe you shit. The world was here long before you were. So you just take your the world owes No, that's me the crap. society owes me crap. Because, you know, mm-hmm. you, when you get arrested, they call it a debt to society is being yeah. paid. No, there's just some bitch taking your fucking time with a gun. You know, you can l- try to leave if you want to, but they'll, they'll probably shoot you. So, hmm. It's very yeah. weird. Yeah, I call it kidnapping. Yes. But society deems it, oh, oh that's okay. Well, part of society did. And then another part of society, well, what they got away with is this Black lives bullshit, you know. Instead of just attacking the police for being the pricks they are, they had to make a mistake and go for the blood, you know, make a blood thing out of it. It it cheapened the whole thing from the very beginning. Well, they had to steer it towards the black lives thing because if they went toward, you know, if they went after cops... yeah. And said, yeah, that was just yeah, wrong. Those yeah. cops were not trained properly. Yeah. Ooh, that would mean they'd have to spend more money on training of cops, which, okay, who trains them in the first place? Israel. That's, yeah. So, that's number one. Number two, how could you divert that much cash from all of those well-meaning people hmm. who are donating to the cause of Black Lives Matter and Antifa. How could they divert all of those finances into the Democratic Party? Well, you got to get out there and say, but black lives matter. Okay. Black lives matter. White lives matter. Purple lives matter. 
polka dotted <laughs> lives matter. <laughs> Pretty much every life matters mm. because every mm. life in this physical reality is made of matter. Mm. Period. Right. Now, granted, the actual essence that occupies this matter right. is energy. It's right. intelligent energy for right. some, for right. others. I'm not sure. But it's matter. Yeah. We are in a ma material world. Thank you, Madonna, for fucking up that word. Because <laughs> every time I say it's a material world, I think of her. <laughs> God. I know. See? It's just all over the place. Uh, you're all over the place today. <laughs> yes, I am. Welcome to the dork table. <laughs> Where Grams is just kind of having a random stream of consciousness moment. No, this is her story being made. Yeah, it's my it's her story, not my story. Her story. <laughs> Trust me. I'm not Jewish. <laughs> well, Grim's got an opinion about your polka dot people. Yeah. So. Grim says if you see polka dotted people, they may have other issues. They may have gotten a few too many tattoos. That may be what's going on there. Or the annihilation didn't work. <laughs> yeah, or, yeah, hey. Can you imagine there are people in the world today, right now alive, right now, that are so afraid of this virus threat that they want to get an annihilation? To protect them from this thing. <laughs> <It's>, <Ooh. laughs> well, I mean, it's a little bit late, but if you haven't figured out you've been had by the state yet one more time, and you are indeed terrified of catching the common cold and find it necessary to get an inoculation, <laughs> what an inoculation is, you're not ready to know what it is. Just go get the shot. Fuck it. That's my advice. That's what I think of all this. At the end of, what, 10 months of being pounded with this freaking hoax. Yeah, if you believe it, go get an inoculation. Get four inoculations. Get your family inoculated. Dig up people and inoculate them, too. Yeah. Hmm? And maybe, just maybe, they won't vote Democrat. Take four or five maybe. shots yourself, fucker. Go for it. Don't fuck around with this common cold shit. That 99.5% of the people that get it, that aren't old, don't even know they have it. Make all this bullshit out of nothing. Fucking wank. Well, hell, the idiots. test that they have doesn't even test for it. Uh, we just get fucked, just like always. It's like I always tell you, no matter what it is, this government tells me, ah, it's a bunch of bullshit. I don't think I've ever sit, sat one time on the government side of anything I've ever heard them tell me. I always go, Mary. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> so, I suppose at this point in the bullshit o meter, <laughs> I could say I'm probably doing pretty good at calling go. bullshit bullshit. But what part of reality I don't have, other people got. And they make this nightmare real in their own personal life. By using the surroundings they have. So if they're, oh, yeah. well, at, they're in a lockdown and they're mandatory mass and they watch TV and get pounded every day with all how true this really is and they believe it, there you go. That's the goal. Well, yeah. That's what they want. They want you brainwashed. If you, if it, you get enough people to yeah. believe it, because we are co-creators. Mm -hmm. So if you get enough, that tipping point, whatever that tipping point is... To believe it, it does become a reality. There you go. For those that believe exactly. it, it becomes their reality. Yeah. And I got to tell you, mm. Frumpy said that Rob Work said that we all came from shrooms once upon a time. <laughs> I think you know what uh. you know what shrooms grow really good in cow shit. Shit. Well, cow. Shit. I would think a cow shit first, first and foremost, because well, that's the, my story. The shroomy, cow yeah. Shit. Well, the was, shroomy people the I know, shit. yeah. They were always, eh, hey, we're going to go shroom hunting. And I was always too lazy to learn how to do it, so I missed out, you know. Got the bounty, but I was too lazy to be a, you know, a hobbit back in those days and, and do something out of the ordinary. Well, <sighs> it's terrible. Now I'm paying the price. <laughs> you know, I don't have any cow shit in my yard, mm -hmm. but I have two dogs that leave landmines. Wow. That, that, compete Ooh. 
and I do have shrooms that grow in my yard. And you but have I'm not internet. brave enough to try and eat them. No. Because I have heard you can eat any mushroom once. Okay, but there's a test. There's always a test for a food to make it turn a certain color or texture to see what it's uh -huh. made out of. For idiots, I, I encounter these kind of things on the Internet all the time. They make complicated things very simple for me to assume. Well, it's see, just I'm not how you look for it, right? Person anyway, well, so. there you go. Ah, the truth comes out, so stop it. You're right. teasing us with your curiosity, you historian. <laughs> I know. <laughs> just wait. I'll mm -hmm. change my mind later. Well, okay. Let me let me see if I can't find a serious question. Uh, here we go. You know, all this hoopla over this uh, last ten months, besides the damn. <laughs> Uh, hoax. The real it part of it. It hasn't been ten months. It's been fifteen or fourteen oh. days with extensions. Yeah. Okay. Correct me some other time. But <laughs> cops, cops had a bad reputation going into this thing, and you were saying that it wasn't about uh, if it wasn't about race, nobody would have cared. And. Yeah. It, and to me, it's like, wait, 12% of the people in the population are black in the first place. So, eh, not interested in them. They're a minority. What? What? Jews, eh, not interested in them either. But when these little groups of people get out there and have their leadership speak, the whole population is held captive to listen to this shit <laughs> from these complete idiot fucking wackadoodles that have nothing in, in mind except for fucking you over somehow. There you go. That's well, how I yeah. hear it. They also have, you owe me, regardless of whether they have been wronged in any way, shape, or form, you owe me. I don't owe you dick. I don't have one, so I don't owe you dick. But... Wow. <laughs> okay. You're welcome. Thank you for that. <laughs> there's, there's, there, it just, it makes me crazier than I already am when they start going. But you owe me. Okay, wait a minute here. I've got Native American in my ancestry, along with probably about fifty other blood types going on. So, you know, I've probably in more than just that one, hmm. I have an ancestor somewhere hmm. that has been a slave to somebody. Oh, come on. That, and, well, I was married for 33 years. Tell me about being a slave for some. Yeah. Yeah. See, so, and it's a word that society throws around like it's some kind of a bad thing when we're all slaves in reality. So... Oh, shut up with your fucking slavery, you idiot. There's nobody alive right now that has any fucking freedom that the next idiot doesn't have. We just don't have the money to use it. <laughs> well, and nobody has any more rights than anybody else. Yeah, they, they do. Yeah, yeah, they have. do. No, they're, it's they're, privileges they're, that they have. Yeah, the they're collect, connected to little plastic fucking cards. And if you can produce yeah. the plastic card, then does who you are doesn't matter. What matters is you're in control of that plastic card. I'm wondering if someone Life. were to go to the Karma Cafe and want yeah. to play, pay with their privilege card. <laughs> they are, they exist. Karma will look at them and go, oh, I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> you are so overdrawn. <laughs> Guess what? Okay. You're going to get what you get uh, and not throw a fit. Because yeah, if you do throw a fit, yeah. you're going to get more. Yeah. That's how it works here at the Karma Cafe. Well, and, so, okay. And then Rob Rob is breaking the, this word slavery down in his perspective. And I just think we're all, some level, we're all slaves. Something. It, it kind of takes the surprise out of it. <laughs> but yeah, what can you do? Yeah. If you don't feel abused in life, then you're not abused in life. And what you get called by other people shouldn't be a matter of importance. Yeah, because what someone else calls you is all about them. It's nothing about you. I don't know. It's all about them. Remember when I was a tax evading, American dodging, whatever? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all that. 
My mother yeah. was English. My my wife that I was going to marry is Danish. I, I don't see where the USA came into that. <laughs> It's but so funny. It's so, you. but it was so funny because everybody just assumed you're if you're American, you're you're living in America. Well, you know what they say about assuming. Uh, 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 but uh, hey, on the on the internet webs, what else do you have but assuming? Well, true. You know, you you got assumes yeah. and opinions. <laughs> you ever listen to to uh, what's his face with the pine tree? You'll give it. Yeah. You ever eat a pine tree? Most parts are edible. Some some parts are edible. Some yeah. parts, not all parts. And you can make oil <laughs> out of the tree too. You well, know, yeah. Who, I got some right here, Douglas fir. From but back in those days. One. They hadn't figured out how to market oils yet. They were still with synthetic oils. They were trying to yeah. to keep the real oils off the market and pump it full of the synthetics. Is what I'm, yeah. Yeah, so they could sell you more and more Crap. and more yeah. and more. Break our health down so that you know we won't live. Yeah, because your body's won't. not designed to incorporate synthetics. Yeah. But it is designed to incorporate the real thing. Exactly. So when you end up sick and you go into the doctor over some diabetes or high blood pressure, one of their little physical scam games that they've labeled as as diseases. <laughs> it's a hustle. If it's a dis ease. You it can, is a yeah. mental dis ease. And you can eat food and get right out of it, sir and madam. <laughs> Done it myself. Know all about it. Anyway. But anyway. then I got Cirque to, she does the, you know, cooking stuff. Mm-hmm. And we got gardens in the, you know, garden in the back. Got fresh vegetables. And right out of the backyard, like two hicks. We're two city people. It's weird. <laughs> that surprises me all the time. The things that we grow back there is like, wow. Where'd you learn how to do that? <laughs> I don't know. Just done it. Well, and that's one of those things. Everybody thinks you need to learn how to do stuff, and some of this stuff just comes to you. Just, it's just. It's ninety-nine percent action and one percent of you know luck. Sometimes the weather's yeah. not with us. Like we had a lot of rain today, so it probably didn't help the plants that are still thriving a little bit at the end of the summer and beginning of winter. So it'll probably bring on a frost and they'll, everything will die. See, and you were saying a couple of weeks ago that you guys had cucumbers like mm-hmm. crazy. Yeah, yeah. And my cucumber plant, I was actually able to pick two cucumbers. Ouch. Before the plant just, it just died. And I don't know why. Mm. I mean, it didn't get overwatered. See, it, you know, it, weeds were pretty much removed seeds. around it. But yeah. Yeah, I'd say maybe the seeds were bad. So, mm. but mm. right close by to it, yeah. um, I planted my um, loofah plants, and they're doing wonderful. Huh. And on the other side, my zucchini is doing yeah, wonderful. Yeah, it's probably the and seeds. And my acorn squash is doing wonderful. So yeah. apparently, just the cucumbers said, nope, nope, you get two this year. That's it, two, mm. two. Only two. I don't know. I felt like Noah of the garden. Or Only maybe two. maybe Cirque did one of those Danish curses on your cucumbers, so her cucumbers would be better. Oh. <laughs> like, I got a hay out of her for that one. <laughs> <laughs> now no, she's defended she, herself. If she did one on my tomatoes uh, or my peppers, it didn't no, work because I got tomatoes like crazy too. And I got I got boatloads wow. of banana peppers. Wow! I even got Not you to so many of the orange or the the purple ones, but lots of banana peppers. You think Cirque would do a thing like that? That was me being smart ass, you crazy woman. Hi, <sighs> women. Uh, what are you I going know. to do? You can't uh, dig a hole deep enough, and you can't live in prison. Uh. Just <sighs> keep digging. Just keep digging. You'll eventually make it to China. Ah. Uh, yeah. <sighs> oh well. That one went. What is it? I don't know, but I was trying to get you to talk about the cops and their bad reputations, and we went everywhere but well, there. <laughs> I know. We do. Let me see where I wrote something down about what we were. I wrote down some part. Yeah, we went all vegetables. 
because I wrote down some parts are edible. <laughs> but, ah. all right, now. Well, cops and their bad reputation, and see, that's just another one of those things where you hmm. stop and think about this. Hmm. Why in the hell did we agree to have cops in the first place? Why in the hell did they get to the point where they decided that, you know, they could get away with this shit? Somewhere along the way, the people have to take a little bit of credit for that. Blame, credit, how, however you want to put it. The people have to take some of the responsibility for that because they allowed it to get to this point. They saw it on television. And I am and part of the people as well yeah. because... You know, I I do something where I'm at. Yeah. I just let them know, hey, dude, seriously, rude. Wow. But you know, and when I was on city council, mm. they pretty much knew. Uh, uh-uh, uh, we ain't falling for this shit. Ain't mm. doing it. You ain't doing all this special training where it's six months away, and then they come back for three months, and then they move on somewhere else where they get better pay. Mm. No, ain't doing it. <laughs> That, you know, people need to set their boundaries and then stick to them. Mm-hmm. That, and it's not just us. I mean, we are the inheritors of generations of people going, but they're law enforcement. But uh-huh. we must have peacekeepers. Uh-huh. Really? Wow, we must have peacekeepers. And yet, when you look back at the historical record, a lot of those peacekeepers were dirtier than the people they were locking up. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Priorities here, boundaries, be a little bit more selective, but then again, it it translates into politicians, too. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to be our representatives. They represent us to the world. How about I present myself to the world? Thank you very little. Wow. It's all, Mm -hmm. it's insane. And, Mm -hmm. you know, once people wrap their heads around, it's like, and I'm seeing it again, and every time I see it, it's like, Oh, you guys do not understand how freaking crazy that sounds. Mm. You know, they, and I posted it on Twitter, not a single person noticed it, or I don't think a single person noticed it. I put on there, they say no one's above the law. They also say the law is the foundation of our society. Yeah, but they also make movies. Are you telling us then that we're all basement dwellers? No. Because if the law is the foundation, yeah. of the society and no one is above the law we're all living underneath the foundation we're basement dwellers hmm. i don't think that's the way it works but that is the that's part of that spell casting that's how it works I on think tv we're all above the law until we break the law and then we no get no, the no 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 if you got enough money you can lawyer your way out of just about anything and see what? It's still, no what? one's above the law. Bullshit. Everybody, if it's the foundation <laughs> of a society, if laws are the foundation upon which your civilization is based on, yeah. then that is the bottom level. That's mm. the lower level. Mm. Everybody else is walking upon the law doing good mm. until they do something to someone else yeah. that is uncool, harmful, intentionally harmful, then they have broken the law. They have chipped into that foundation. They have become basement dwellers. But no, somehow or another, over the centuries, it has been twisted around to where no one is above the law. Instead of everyone's above the law, and only those that break the law sink into the depths of depravity. Why do you think we have the saying, depths of depravity? TV, movie. So, that's the way I see it, at least. It's and I may be is way being different made. than everyone else. No. But I, that's I don't really think you do, to be honest with you. I think you see it very similar to a lot of people that I know. Just you explain it differently. <laughs> your well, your personal expression can't cover such a big conversation in one sweep. You know, It takes a while. And yet it really should be very simple. It should be very simple. But, but it's when not, they, yeah. When they bass backwards everything, which you listen to anybody of any religiosity or any spiritualism, yeah. they will tell you that this world is bass backwards. Now, they won't use uh, those words. Uh, everything yeah. is upside down. Everything yeah. is topsy-turvy. Yeah. So when they say one thing, mm. it's actually 
the other. Yeah. So when they say no one is above the law, it's like, uh, actually, mm. we all are. Oh. It's just those of you that are spouting that bullshit mm-hmm. that are dwelling in the depths of depravity, and you're trying to get the rest of us down there with you. Wow. I wasn't really trying to do any such thing, but okay. I'll, well, I'll try harder. Well, started on the cop thing, and it's like... Well, that's cops because... Cops are as bad as the area allows them to be. Yeah, well, that's because I'm fortunate enough to live where the long arm of the popo ain't here. It's somewhere else. So, well, but... My by, mother lives somewhere where it's up close and personal. Yeah, well, no. But if you let them know, excuse me... I ain't putting up with that shit. That's not the way it works. Nah, here there's and nothing to them. nothing to put up with. And when when there are police around, they're they're decent, friendly. They just walking through. They mind their business. Oh so, yeah, yeah. We went down to see uh, <clears throat> Wayne's granddaughters, <clears throat> and we put up some traffic cones out in the street so the girls could ride their bikes in the street and yeah. it basically it was letting them know yeah. no mm-hmm. you cannot ride out into the intersection no you can't do this mm-hmm. you know, just giving them little so that because they're five and, and six yeah, so keep, you don't yeah. want them riding out in the middle of the damn street yeah. or in the yeah. middle of an intersection so, yeah. well apparently someone had called the cops on us Wow. and so the officer showed up officer Matt and he introduced himself to the girls, and he introduced himself to us, and he was a canine cop, and brought his dog out, beautiful dog, beautiful dog, and that doggy, when he saw the girls, was like all slinky dog, and the tail wagon. And oh, just, wow. <clears throat> Everything they tell the you not to dog. do. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, and so he said, yeah, it's okay for you to pet my dog. Wow. And so the girls were fawning all over the doggy, and then... Wayne's daughter brought out her youngest, which is, she's like 15 months old now. Oh, my. And first thing she did was run right, to right the up dog. to the doggy. Yeah. And the doggy was like, give me kisses, give me kisses. This guy was, he was cool. And then he gave the girls little those little rubberized <laughs> bracelet thingies for canine cop or whatever. And, and you know, chit-chatted with neighbors and stuff. Mm. And then he said, well... I got to go and do some police officer stuff now. Mm. And everybody moved. He didn't tell us to move the traffic cones, didn't tell us to get mm. out of the street, didn't mm. admonish anyone. He was just okay. checking in and being cool. And that's, you know, if you want to have a police officer, that's the kind you want to have. They come and check shit out. They'd be cool about it. Mm. Yeah, I was complaining about that in the last show, about a different kind of approach. That had they yeah. used what you just described, the guy would have probably gone to jail. But they wouldn't. He they wouldn't have. He wouldn't have shot the two cops trying to take him there. But yeah, they pushed him in. They pushed him into being defensive. You know, there you go. Push the psycho far enough, he's going to shoot you. Yes. Thought they learned and that you, in cop school. Yeah, Jeez. they train them how to recognize aggression yeah. and to nip it in the bud. <laughs> Wow, too many fucking movies have definitely fucked up society. Because it believes yeah. a lot of ignorant shit, like you were saying about the police, right? What I see, what made it possible, was TV shows. Like, it was so subtle how Columbo always broke all the freaking rights, lied to people, misled them, tricked them, did everything but told them the truth. And it was a popular TV show. And it opened up the doorway for the police to actually behave that way because people saw it on TV. Well, and Dirty Harry. Right, but they came up with shit like uh, undercover and all. Wait a minute. How, how is that fucking possibly legal? You know, it yeah. just goes to show that the whole uh, good guy, bad guy thing is just a big performance by a bunch of lion thieves. Yeah. Mm. Well, and see, my whole thing is treat people with respect until they do something to lose it. Right, but they push, society is pushed into acts of desperation, financial desperation, on purpose. And it's Oh, yeah. And it's done through this fucking voting nonsense, government, city, all this nonsense, right? People have been raised to trust it because it's got your back and all this, that, and the other. They build roads. 
And all it's been the whole time is just a, a machine to keep you fucking stupid. Well, and see, I think voting, hmm. voting would work what? if it actually did what they said it did. Look at voting the lion pricks. Okay, look at the lion pricks that they choose as representation in the first. There, there's no way to beat this crap because yet, the only idiots you ever have to vote for are these fucking lion cunts that are presented to you by rich people. Yeah, and see, that's where people need to pull up their big girl panties and their big boy tidy whities and say, no, we ain't voting for either one of them. Or write in a cat. I mean, shit, I heard a cat got elected to mayor a few years back. Yeah, yeah, The cat died before the election, and they still voted for the cat. Yeah, yeah. It's not even... You know, people have a hell of a lot more power than they realize. They just don't, number one, realize it. And number two, wow. they don't exercise it because they're freaking lazy. Wow. Well, you can't see. How do you call somebody lazy if they're uh, they're being forced into action by the state? And there is no o- option but to do what they say or the state's going to lock you up on top of it. What do you do then? See, See, we don't have those where problems would, where we're at. Well, and this is where I was talking about with the voting thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What? What's it got to do with voting? The state in general. The state is the state is a monster that was created with the purpose to do just exactly what it does. Yeah. The system yeah. is not broken. It's yeah. working exactly as Perfect. designed. Perfect. Uh huh. Yep. Well, so, I know that. You know that. But the people that are caught in it. They don't know that. They really believe that they got a voice, and their cell phone is their freedom, not their enslavement. <laughs> it's sad. And they don't realize that cell phone is the tracking beacon for them. Well, they know where you're at all the time. Some do, and some don't. And I would say the ones that don't far outnumber the ones that do. Oh, yeah. Just like uh, our reality about, well, the money's not real. The, re- the reaction to money is real. The responses to money is real. The money's yes. not real. And people yeah. will, but they misinterpret the the two. They go, well, but see, look at how the reactions are all real. It's based on stories that you hear about other people. None of this stuff is affecting me personally. It's a co-creation. You get yeah. enough people to believe it, and yeah. it becomes a reality. And George Soros is your worst enemy, and I don't know George fucking Soros, do you? I don't know George Soros either. But I don't I, know. I know, okay, but see, these are the things that occupy on the internet webs. To get your attention, they, they want you to think about these things, certain ideas, certain people. Billy Boy Bobob Gates, there's another one. And his boyfriend, Melinda. I mean, there's a pair yeah. to draw to. Who the fu- I wouldn't follow those two idiots into a public restroom, let alone, you know, get a vaccine because he recommended it. He's a sleazeball. I know. What does a, a computer program merchant... No, the, his demeanor. A computer program merchant. What does he know about... Medical science. Watch, at all. watch him without the volume on, and he's a sleaze ball. Ugh, couldn't stand to be around the creep. See, and to me, I watch him without the sound on, and yeah. it's like, no, pass all Somebody is a very bad puppeteer. Well, he yeah. Has no control over those limbs whatsoever. Maybe he's actually shooting his own vaccines. <laughs> he no. could very well be. No, I doubt it. But, you know, these. Rich people claim all these things like Melinda Gates is not a woman. That is not a woman, people. That's a guy. Phew. And they it's not a very just like Dangle no, and didn't. Michael had. Children. Yeah, they bought them from Epstein. <laughs> Two no slightly used children from the Epstein Foundation <laughs> to go, <laughs> and we'll throw in a bag of chips. There you go. Oh, yeah. the, see, the reality of life is such a fantasy. It sounds so chasmagorical, you know? Oh, that stuff can't happen. Oh, yeah, it can. The stuff you think happens doesn't happen. And the things that you think don't happen do happen. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's why we're burning oil today, because, you know, law. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
you know, try to tell people that, well, the law is basically designed just to restrict you from shit, whoever you may be. It's not to help anybody. It's to hold you back so that you don't get beyond the group, surpass these fucking monkeys and leave them in the dirt. You have to join them. Get some shit. Throw some shit at that monkey over there, damn it. Don't just sit there like an idiot. <laughs> and, and here we are, throwing shit at each other across. <laughs> I know. I know. It's, it's, I got to admit, I finally gave in, and now I want the thing to continue, and I want to see carnage. Carnage! Like I've never seen. Yep. <sighs> And also, I made a prediction on on the prediction thing last year. <laughs> I, I, oh, yeah? oh, I hope I I hope I hit. Yeah. Well, what it was about the presidential uh, selection, the one that's coming up in like two months. And you know what I predicted? Huh? What? Huh? I predicted that tr <laughs> Trump is going to win the popular vote. <laughs> But the selection, the the electoral college is going to give it to Biden, <laughs> just like they did to Hill Talk. <laughs> I think it's well. priceless. Wait a minute. But I was joking when I said it at the time. I had no idea Biden was going to really run. <laughs> oh well. Well, yeah, but it's a perfect thing if they if they pick Biden, they got that Harris girl. Then they just dump Biden right away. Hey, he slipped on a banana and had a heart attack and died. Oh, poor Joe. Oh, look at the girl here. She'll run everything. <laughs> oh, camel toe? Mm. Yay. Well, it's yeah. either her or more Trump. And God, Trump well, showed us anything tell. is that the federal is a fucking fantasy. Period. If you guys have not figured this part out, is state Trump's fed, but your state is weak and... Plays this bullshit uh, credit game with the money. Oh, if you don't do this, we'll give you an extra $110 million. And they go, okay. Wait a minute. What about the people that live in the state? You know, Nah, fuck them, man. We got $110 million to divvy up. Let, fuck, let them eat each other. <laughs> That's what I see. More homeless, more unemployment, less businesses. Not more. Well, you know what I see? Mm -hmm. I see a lot less COVID in the news when they got RPG going on, or RBG, whatever the hell her name is. Um, <laughs> yeah, that one yeah. that's definitely going to uh. vote Democrat in this election. <laughs> I wonder if her vote counts if she died before the election. Well, oh, wait, that's right. She's a Democrat. Moving along. Um, you know, you're not hearing a whole hell of a lot about riots. And all that fun stuff while the RBG shit is going on. Why? Because they're mostly peaceful protesters. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, what? 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 Would you tell me some of this up in one sentence? Okay. After all this time, what are they protesting for? What is it they want that they don't have? I have no idea. Oh, okay. I don't either. I thought you might know. <laughs> it's her story I, night, so we're, we're going to go with I your story. You know, I haven't figured out this whole, I'm going to bust into mom and pop's place and mm. steal all their shit. Mm. And uh, and because I feel underprivileged. Wait a minute. You just busted into mom and pop's place and stole all their shit. And nobody's going to press charges on you because you're undervalued. You've been abused. Not you in particular, but someone else who had a skin color that was closely related to yours. Never mind that there's a freaking uh, Crayola box full of colors of human skin tones. Uh, but I feel so abused. Do you want to feel abused? Hmm. Go see Bubba in jail. You'll feel abused. Well, you know, last year in the, I think it was in the spring where the the neighbor's house caught on fire, sir. Yeah, so it was probably what five six months ago, and everybody in the neighborhood was curious and had to go fucking see what happened. The neighbor's house got set on fire, and the fire department came to put it all out. You know who didn't go and look? Who? Me. You. Yeah. Well, because. 
You're not that kind of a Jewy bastard. It's weird, isn't it? I hours. know. Isn't that weird? I thought it was weird. I had no desire of any kind. Cirque went. The neighbors went. All the neighbors went. Everybody had to go see. And me, I figured I'd just use their word for it. Yeah, they're not going to lie to me about it. So what do I need? I've seen burnt buildings before. Not, nothing special. You know. So I didn't go. Yeah. And nobody gave me a hard time. Oh, you're not going to go look. You don't care. You're heartless prick. Blah, blah, blah. Nothing. Just, oh, you don't want to look. No problem. Eh. So I've got the freedom in my lifetime now to, to say no to people and not. Nobody makes a big fucking deal out of my no. Well, and that's okay. It's just weird. I'm still not used to that. Sometimes it. It could be misunderstood. I think I could take it as being ignored if I wanted to be paranoid. You know? Oh, they don't pay any attention to me when I don't want to join them in their Danish games. No, oh, see how you are. <laughs> Rudolph. I, but see, this is life as you can Rudolph take it. Rudolph, the, the red nose Mexa Jew. Hey, <laughs> you know, does your Mexican brain talk to your Jewish brain? No, it talks to you guys. Oh, it talks you. See, duh. The yeah. Mexican brain talks to you guys. The yeah. Jewy bastard, he's back in the corner gun. No, all mm, all of I'm them. I'm going to form a cult. And no, I'm going to charge everybody. One of them takes over at a time, and they just all ex- they go out. It's like breathing, but they expel oh, they only. Take turns? Yeah, but they don't inhale. They only exhale. Oh. So there's never any telling what may come out of me at any particular time because of it. But eh, life. Life, let it let it flow, let it flow. Huh? As you flow, it's linoleum. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. That's a bad one. Uh, Next. Yes, it is. Okay. Next. But, oh God. See, I don't, I don't really consider all that Mexican Jew shit very often, anyway. I mean, in reality, when I'm playing on the radio, it's funny. But in oh yeah, sitting around like I, I make jokes about it occasionally, but it's. No big deal. Mexican. See, I think all that. It's just, on, it's just on the radio that I call you a Mexican Jew. Yeah, but I think all that. But that's because it's fun. Country <laughs> and borders and all. I think all that shit's a bunch of crap. Because of the life I've lived with all the different people I've lived with, they no matter what language they speak or any of that horse shit, people are all the fucking same. We all have the same basic core. We're either aggressive or we're not. You know, whatever you are, there's an opposite to it that I've encountered somewhere. True. And I don't think True. these things are divided by borders or countries or ethnic persuasions or any of that horse shit, you know. Because when I was a little kid, I got in trouble with the state. I was like 11. Ended up in a little uh, holding thing for a couple of weeks. Couldn't go home. And the black kid says, you don't like me because I'm black. And I said, no, I don't like you because you're a fucking idiot. And then he, then we, you know, got into it. But it had nothing to do with his color. I was colorblind as a child. I wasn't raised with all that. See, and I, I just, hmm. and Mother and I actually talked about this last week. And I what? said, Mom, you know, I really didn't realize we was po-white children. Yeah, the, you know, it's other people. Other people bring that to to you, you or you start it yourself. But uh, well, and my very first yeah, boyfriend was yeah. was a half breed, as my ah, dad would call him. See. You know, he was yeah. half Indian and and half white. Well, mm. his dad was full blood. I don't remember. It's from Oklahoma, some tribe down there, and his mom was white. Okay, mm. no big deal. I thought he was cute. He is my boyfriend. Until my dad uh, said, you can't date him because he's a half-breed, which then I went around behind his back and dated him. But, <laughs> you little but bad then girl. <laughs> later on, he would say something about, but we're part Cherokee. Okay, wait a minute here. So you're pissed at him because he's got more Indian in him than we do? Is that the deal? And that's why I can't date him? Because it would make my children then, you know, if things were to go there, wow. it would make my children have more Indian in them than you? What the hell? Wow. It didn't make any sense to me. So I, you know, even as a child, I was like, I don't, I don't understand this. Uh, that they, They're just people. They're yeah, just but people. see, that's easy to say. But when somebody disappoints you, it's a whole lot easier to blame the race of the person to, you know, start, 
You know, it's easier to say, I fucking Mexican prick, blah, 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 than it is to talk about the problem. Is what I'm saying. Oh no, no, I I call them out by their name. Well, you're not you're not the average Joe that I'm referring to here in the first place, know, you I'm, whack doodle. I'm, I'm not wow. the average Joe no. Savini either. No. I'm telling her story. Yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely take you take life to a, like your car accident this year. I mean, I still can't get over that you're in a fucking wreck that bad and and you're out doing errands today. It's like what? I would have milked that thing. Oh, my toe hurts. <laughs> I can't walk. <laughs> no, don't make me do it. Ah. No, I'm, I'm probably exaggerating, Tad, but you're doing really good. And I don't want you to ever, you know, not be aware that I'm still aware it's fresh. We ain't hit the yeah. year. Once we hit a year on this, then it'll be history. But, oof, wow, what you went through. Hmm. See, and when I go down to see my mom and she'll say, how strong's your back? Not, not referencing anything. Just go lift that, Mom. I'm, I'm not. I can't. I'll slide it, but I can't lift it. Well, why not? Oh, well, she's mother forgotten. has dementia, so yeah. you know. Fifty first dates about every hour is pretty much the way that works anymore. Sometimes wow. more frequent than that, but you know, she just things don't. And then the weirdest shit sticks in her head. <laughs> oh, my God. Two days after my daughter brought – my daughter came down Monday so that, you know, she could spend some time with mom, my youngest. And she brought the T-shirts that she made, which the one I'm wearing today says, caution, I have no filter, which is true. But <laughs> the one that she made for my mother has a big tree on it, and it says, I shook my family tree and a bunch of nuts fell out. And Mother loves that shirt, just absolutely <laughs> loves that shirt. And, you know, two days later, when I was getting ready to leave, you really need to give me Aubrey's address so I can send her a note to thank her for that shirt. I just love that shirt. And it's like, so things like that will stick. Things that you wouldn't expect, that will stick in her brain. But, man, when you tell her, you know, well, we just cleaned out your bedroom, Five minutes later, God, I'm tired, and I haven't done a damn thing all day. Wait a minute, Mom. Wait a minute. I'm sweating like a stuck hog here because we just cleaned out your bedroom. Did we? I need to go see. Walk her in along. You know, so it's this, this is a very new and interesting challenge for me because I'm trying to not, and my siblings keep going, quit reminding her. No, she needs to be reminded. She needs to be reminded that... Yes, you feel tired for a reason, Mother. There is a reason why your muscles ache. There's a reason why you're actually sweaty right now. Because you did something. Okay. But mm-hmm. it's it's funny, you know, how the human mind is an amazing thing. I will say that. Well, oh, and, I don't know. and one other thing I found yeah. out. Did I tell you about they changed the, the guidelines for blood pressure? <laughs> oh, no way. Yes, they did. Oh, fucking kidding now, me. In order to be healthy, considered yeah. healthy, yeah. your blood pressure should be no more than 120 over 60. What? Now, to me, way 60? back in the day, when they first started doing my blood pressure, yeah. like when I was pregnant with kids, yeah. 120 over 60 was low. Yeah. yeah. And they were concerned. But And mine, from, when I was, especially when I was pregnant, it was like 130 over 70 or 130 over 72, somewhere in that range. And now that would be considered high blood pressure, and they would be trying to put you on pills. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I told you. Be careful. Rockefeller well, the medicine. AMA, they're going to do yeah, the you AMA in, baby. They changed the guidelines. Yeah, be careful. So they can push more pills. It was nice knowing you people that know you. You know me, know you. No, no. <sighs> well, and I know when they took mom's blood pressure the other day, yeah. and it was like 117 over. God, what was it? 117 over 58. Wow. I thought, oh, dear oh. God, that's low. Yes. Especially for someone 89 years old because their blood pressure is supposed to be a little bit higher. Yeah. And she said, oh, no, it's perfect according to the new AMA guidelines. Oh. Well, who in the hell wrote the damn AMA guidelines? Mickey Mouse. They're full of shit. Well, maybe Donald, uh, Donald Trump and Donald Duck got together with Mickey Mouse and decided things that are going to be, be different. 
We and live Lisa in it. And I were talking wow. today, and she said that actually wow. the United States is one of the very few countries that has a guideline for hmm. butt blood pressure hmm. because all of the other countries know hmm. you have someone that weighs 250 pounds and someone that weighs 110 pounds, their blood pressure is going to be different because the 250 pounder. It, their blood, their heart needs to pump a little bit harder to get it to everywhere in the body, as opposed to a 110 pounder. Yeah. So n no other countries in the Western civilized world has those kind of guidelines, but us. Okay. I don't doubt it, and I live in another country, but since I've been here the uh, few days I haven't felt well, have been minuscule, so... And it's been the first year, the first uh, changing over to vegetables pretty much got me. But I got through it quick, a couple of days. There you go. With some, some seeds for the you know, discomfort. Because I went from grease, greasy potatoes. And, you know, the English are different. Yes. And deep fried every fucking thing and all this other crap. And then I came here and it was like, hey, wait a minute, vegetables, I can't eat that stuff. It'll kill me. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my body was so used to being fueled on crap that anything but crap wasn't pleasant. It was like a punishment for a bit. <clears throat> but yeah. once it got past a certain point, then, oh, because that's what you do. You know, you survive life. And you can train your body to adjust to just about any fucking thing you can imagine. There you go. But when you there try you to go. shift from one one from one poison to something that's not poisonous, you get the results of like a withdrawal physically. So it's not pleasant. Yeah. Yeah, but I survived it. I mean it wasn't like, oh I'm gonna die. It was just a little a little un discomfort for a few days. Mm. Well, yeah, it was your digestive system getting Getting used to the new, the new occupants of the area. What the hell is and, this stuff? And, I've never seen green stuff before that wasn't yeah. fuzzy. And today, I, I like tonight. Sir got fresh vegetables out of the garden for a couple of sandwiches. Went oh, mm, yum yum. Instead of me repelling, going oh fucking vegetables. Oh, they're so hard to digest. Uh, but they're better for you. Okay, well, so, I don't come from the world of, eh, this is better for you, but I ended up in the world of, hey, this is better for you, because I didn't, hey, you know what, I, I had a birthday what? last Tuesday, so. I now, know you like, did, I'm you're ancient. now my age. Yeah, I know, huh, isn't that something? And we're still alive, COVID didn't huh? kill us, car accident didn't kill you, Uh uh, Cirque hasn't killed me. <laughs> I mean, think about it. Life is good because I can, I can aggravate people. I'm good at it. There you go. Yeah. I, you Ooh. know, what? I'm like, like if I would compare myself to some public figure, I can be as cruel as Henry Kissinger and as charming as Bill Clinton at the same time. See, and I don't find Bill Clinton charming at all, so... Well, that's because you're smart, but there's a lot of people that aren't smart, so don't pick on them, damn it. Oh, okay, I should stop that. Yeah, you're going to... you're gonna. <laughs> our, our hardcore 40 listeners are going to give up on us if you don't stop insulting presidents. <laughs> damn it all. Hey, Doug says what? he likes mashed taters with white sauce and peas. Really? Hmm. Mm-hmm. See, taste. Actually, I made shit on a shingle last night. Set. And there you go. And Circle do these, like, Danish versions of American food. Because I'll, I'll tell her, hell yeah, I want to do, want you to, but it's, she cooks Danish. It's hard, it's like with the spices and stuff that she uses. They're just unique to me. Not, not to you, probably. Well, no, you know the one thing that really threw me when she was telling me she'd made peanut butter chicken, and I was like, you did what? You did what with that peanut butter? <laughs> I don't know. I've never I mean, seen her cook with peanut butter. I've never bought peanut butter since we've been together, so it's, I think it's a word she used, but not an ingredient. Well, It's I'm, a name I'm, of something. And but, I could yeah. be misremembering. You know, True, but my... she's never used... I'm telling you, I've lived with her for a 
few years now, and I've never seen peanut butter in the house. I don't care for it, and she's never asked for it, so we don't have it. See, and I like peanut butter and jelly. Okay. Well, that's the... Wayne likes peanut butter and honey. So, eh. My kid used to put freaking jelly on cold meat sandwiches. Oh. She was like nine years old. I went, oh my God, that's just freak. She loved it. I went, okay, honey, but that's fucking disgusting. Get that out of my face. And then she'd shove it in my face and try to make me eat it because she was my kid. She could get away with murder. You know, I, used to, I used to think that was really weird until I went to the lake one time. Hmm. With Well, there were several families that we all went to the lake together and hmm. having a big old barbecue. And one of the guys brought out a jar of jalapeno jelly that he'd made. <laughs> yeah. And he put it on his hamburger. And I was like, what the hell are you doing? And he said, seriously, you need to try it. So me being me, I tried it. Mm-hmm. And uh, God dang, I'm hooked on jalapeno jelly now. <laughs> there you go. That stuff is good on burgers. And you burgers, can make your own. good on brat. See? see? Well, I taste, didn't know jalapenos this year. But see, taste is such a unique thing. Because what mm-hmm. one person goes apeshit over, the guy sitting right in front of him goes, I, I don't want it, any of that. Dick. So there's times where Cirk gets the, you know, the big supply of what she likes the most because I, I don't like it. And vice versa. She doesn't like avocados. I love an avocado. I would eat an avocado with everything. Ice cream, you know. <laughs> no, you I'm, know? I'm kidding. But, you know, with with every meal, food meal, I could eat an avocado like it was nothing. And sir, no, 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 no. So, life... Well, my oldest kinda, daughter is like that. Yeah, she loves avocados. But we learn to, to balance our dislikes, you know, so that the other guy isn't forgotten, you know. And, oh, well, I don't like those, so I'll never think of getting them. I've gone, well, I don't eat that, but she does, so I get her some. Yeah. Ooh, Dust says he likes strawberry and rhubarb. I used to make strawberry rhubarb jelly for my dad all the time. Yeah, I we... I love strawberry rhubarb pie. Yeah, oh, we did a rhubarb stuff. plant, but just only one, and she didn't grow any more this year. But I think next year she's planning to do the rhubarb again. It's an interesting well, plant. Well, rhubarb should yeah. come back every year. Well, where we grew it now, it was, we didn't allow it to grow back. We kept where it's oh. at. Yeah, we, we completely changed the whole area. <laughs> so next year, but she's really get got a lot of um, luck with her plants. Whatever she does, she must do like, you know, the Ed Gein running around in a man suit out and underneath the full moon in the rain dance to make the plants grow. I'll bet you she talks to them. I don't doubt it. I talk to mine. Well, there yeah. you go. I talk to mine all the time. I even talk to the weeds that I'm pulling. My, I've gotten to where I say thank you for mm, aerating my soil. Yeah. Thank you for giving me the exercise. Yeah. Thank you for allowing me to call you San Fran Nan and not giving me stickers. Well, mine is way more vague. My my mother in law has given me plants as gifts over the years. And I've been managing to keep them alive. We haven't had one died off that she's brought over as a as a gift. Cool. And I'm pleased with myself, too, because I thought, man, I can't take care of shit. And here are these plants for a couple of years. It's got one little tree. It's like a kind of like a bonsai tree, only a little bigger than that. But not much. It stands about in the pot with a whole thing, about a foot and a half tall. And it went completely bare in spring. And then all of a sudden, green leaves start popping out. Cool. Right. But I don't. All I do is water them and tell them, hey, you guys are looking good. <laughs> well. I, I don't expect Danish plants to speak a lot of English. <laughs> oh, Chloe just went all blue, 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 blue. All over. Yeah. The, oh, wee uh, All over the RLM Hey, Hey, um, Chloe. That's some kind of flood. Hmm. It looks like she's trying to do an image. I don't know. It looks something. Just, Interesting. Data oh, data she data she caught it. <laughs> that must be. Oh, I hate it when I do dumb things on the main feed, but I do them too. 
where oh, you, yeah. you mean to put something up, but you still got something loaded from something else <laughs> <laughs> that you didn't completely get rid of it all. And, and then when you post again, it pe- repeats the thing you did before. And, ah, all yeah. this compute because oh, yeah. we're, we're terrible. Some of us are really bad at this. <laughs> I'm one of them. I'm not a great computer guy. Don't I don't claim to be one either. But I should. I, uh, yeah. what? What? I went what? and was like a test subject on a website that they were, you know, trying to do, and and I said I'm just here to see if I can break something because I'm not real good at this stuff, and I have a tendency to push the wrong buttons. And they said, "Good, we need breakers too because we want to find all of the places where it's easily broken." Oh, cool! I have a purpose in life. So, are you angry enough to really go out into the physical world and push buttons? Or are you just blowing off steam on the radio because it's easy? Um, I don't know. What do you mean by pushing buttons? I well, mean, I, use, I try not to, to go out in anger. Anyway, okay. So. Well, I'll give you an example. Maybe this might not trend. We'll see. But yesterday, we had a whole day of rain. It doesn't do that very often. Once in it, maybe not even once a year, but it was very rare to have a day where it's constant rain. So in this day of constant rain, I decided a low part where it's dribbly. I'm gonna walk up to the grocery and get a few things. Mm-hmm. And and even on a rainy, nasty fucking day, people are still hellowing me. I'm running into people inside the store I know. <laughs> Guy, one of the guy, the guy in the wheelchair. I don't know what his name is to this day. He speaks a little English to me when we run into each other in the store, and it was funny because I'm soaking wet from being out in the rain, and he's in a wheelchair, and we're at an impasse. And I, I said, "I'll wait for you." He goes, "Oh, hey, I'm already waiting." <laughs> and then he laughed, and then he turned around, took advantage of me waiting, and then he turned around and took off. But Little and you know these just meaningless little fun moments in public, where people are just nice to me for no fucking reason, and it's constant. It it hasn't yeah it hasn't found a back an end to it yet. New kids come working in the store and they're already ah oh, there's the American guy and they tell me my total in English and then, then I know the cycle begins. So, I, yeah, I get preferential treatment in a sense because certain people uh, might practice a little English. It's yeah. Weird. See, you serve a purpose. Yeah, but it's so, you'd think after all this time it would have got old, but no. It's it's weird. <laughs> I, and then the, I, the town council down at the, the train station, they have a, a a main guy, so to speak, you know, in my opinion. And he was gone for about a week. And while he's gone, I just figured, hey, he must have went to see the family. Now he'll be back in a bit and take on his drinking job, and there will, everything will be right. And sure as fuck, he was back a couple of days ago. And just like I had, you know, instead of me worrying about the worst, when things are out of, out of tune in my day, I just figured there's a, uh, it must have been a trip somebody had to make out of the blue. Visiting relatives or something, you know. I don't go right to. I guess the guy died. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. No, I've become quite the optimistic little hobbit here in uh, a happy land. <laughs> hobbit. <laughs> well, I feel. I mean, come on. I share a fucking birthday with Bilbo Baggins for fuck's sake. It's, cool. Yeah, I know. Of all the things, and and Joan Jett, but. Mostly Bilbo. <laughs> See, and I share a birthday with uh, Lucille Ball. Yeah, very nice. Uh, no, that's what I thought. It's like, cool beans. I don't mind sharing a birthday with Lucille Ball. Well, not only so. was she funny, but she was a looker in her day, too. Oh, yes, she was. Mm, yeah. Yep. But And a funny fucking act. God, she was funny. Sad, all the, yeah, how, how we, you know. What we ended up with compared to what we had when we started. Oh, yeah. Griffin no. didn't realize that Middle Earth had the same calendar. Oh, well, now you know. Nee, 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 boo, boo. 
No, they don't have the same <laughs> calendar. Actually, Bilbo is a few hundred years older than me, but they used September the 22nd as his birthday. So I've always thought about, hey, wow, of all the weird things to share a birthday with some, you know, uh, physical, it's a fantasy, you know, uh, character, yeah. fiction, made up, nonsense, crap. <laughs> but... <laughs> Welcome to the real world. But there is a group of dorks out in the world that if you say the words Bilbo Baggins, they know who you're talking about. Oh, yeah. And because we share this madness, uh, this interest in this fantasy book, we always have something to talk about. So. Mm. True. Right. Whether you agree with it or not, it. It's a personal thing, and if you join into it, it's because you got knowledge of it. You don't just, <laughs> you can't fake your way through a Hobbit conversation. <laughs> no, you can't. Because you no, saw you the can't. movie, because there's things in the books the movie's never touched. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. And I, I actually did prefer the, the movie or the books to the movie, but. Well, that's why I'm always pissing and moaning about how uh, the TV and the movie industry softened the public's opinion on how police work should be done and gave the police all these powers that they shouldn't have based on shit they saw on TV because TV made it work. See, we caught the bad guy doing these things. See how we justified it for you? When everything the cop does is a an infraction against your, one of your fucking civil rights. They don't have the right to do these lying, thieving, but they do. They granted them the power to lie. Whoa. In other words, they have become the monsters they're supposed to be policing. And that's, that's what a lot of people don't realize. You know, you get all mad at all of these mostly peaceful protesters, and you want to go out and you want to do something to them. You're just becoming just like them, is what you're doing. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've stayed neutral on the whole thing. Like, well, till the end, I've been making jokes lately that I'm rooting for the, uh, I'm rooting for the violence because I'm bored of the waiting. You know, let's quit fucking around and do something or get the fuck out and go home. Stop playing around. It's ignorant. But, you know, I don't have a voice big enough to make that stand anyway. I'm just talking to a few people. Well, I have been hearing people talk about how Washington, D.C. is going to be burnt to the ground or burnt down. And it's like, okay, is this metaphorically or physically is it going to get burnt down? And I, I'm still, I'm yeah, it still sounds, here going, yeah. yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. It sounds like a tool to soften people's ass for the new world order they want to pretend to have. See, and to me, it sounds like, oh, if you don't be careful, this is what we're going to do. And my mind instantly goes back to history. Well, it burnt once. Guess it could happen again. Hmm. But I don't know. Maybe they've just bred have, they've just bred enough gun lovers out to pull it off this time. Because it's going to take resistance. If, if any of the threats that we interpret through all this corona crap are true, then they're going to put the population in a position to defend themselves from the government, which is how the USA got started in the first place. So that turns out to be yet one more bullshit story that never happened. How can you end up where you started? What? No. We never left it. We were just lied to about it. <laughs> That's They yeah. can't lie anymore because it's got Internet. So now they just keep everybody distracted with different shit. Something consumes your time. You, you can't pick back at the bank. You're out protesting against the COVID or the something. Yeah. yeah. But the COVID don't care. It's kind of like the honey badger. COVID don't care. There Maybe is no COVID. COVID. There's a fucking financial collapse disguised as a virus. There you go. It sum it up in a sentence. But, of course, other people have better ways to explain what's going on. I just don't think it's that complicated. Lots of things in life are really not that complicated when you break them down. Can't pay the interest. When you can't pay the interest payments on the debt, does the mafia just to keep extending you time? What what game are you playing here? 
somebody's going to give up some property or some something, you're not getting away for free. You owe them money. They want it. It's not coming in oh, anymore. Yeah. Well, yeah. there's no more. They got to print more money to see. They they got their self stuck with this last um, the bailouts. Fucked them really hard. Their stories well, are so bad isn't now. Isn't that just funny? No, oh, well, it's we're going not. bankrupt, but we're going to print more money because we're going to bail your ass out. Not people not realizing that. Oh, they just made the money that's in my pocket worth a whole hell of a lot less because now there's a lot more of it. That that critical thinking skill has been pretty much programmed out of many people. Mm. Oh yeah, when they're rid of us, we're the we're the last of it. Unless the kids step up, and the kids that I know here in Denmark, they speak English to me, right? But mm -hmm. what they say in English sounds a lot like the shit that uh, Rob works, Grim, you, Circle. You know, my immediate peers, people I have contact with that I I listen to, you know, Larry Woods. And these two, you know, 220, well, even there's more of them. There's like four of them now. And uh started out with two and we gained a couple. But Well, cool. Well, you know, everybody's got a, an interest in, in something. And mine happens to be in smoke. And yeah. The young kids around here, they don't seem to treat me like some kind of old geezer. <laughs> it's weird. I feel like an old man, you know, not feel like, but uh, I expect that I look like an old guy. But I don't feel like I get treated like that by these people. They're very equal, you know, and they're young, well, 20 to 30. You uh, know, what a group. Perhaps they are not so insecure as to feel as though the old white guy is the one that's holding me down. Really? Oh, no. no. There are not that many old white guys in the world to hold all y'all down. <laughs> These are white kids, too. The last thing in the yeah. world they would ever, I don't think it would ever dawn on them to even behave that way. But, and yet you yeah. see white people out there going, the establishment is holding me down. Uh, you guys need to realize here, your parents are part of the establishment, and they're paying for your fucking iPhone. No. They're holding you down. My, they just bought that new Gucci outfit or whatever the hell, but they're holding you down. No, my impression of these kids is more they know the system exists, and you either use it for what it is or you re you repel against it. That's it. You, you know, that's what younger generations have a tendency of doing anyway. Mm -hmm. They have a tendency of rebelling against the establishment because they know better. And then when they get older, they realize, man, am I dumb? <laughs> well, Some yeah. Some of them stay that way. But. Yeah. Well, hmm. I see circumstances are always different. <laughs> Life yeah. is just, I don't know, it seems so black and white in ways, and then in other ways you you look at it and then the question seems so complicated. And it's really not. It just There's so many different ways to answer the one question. <laughs> gives you a false idea, gives me a false idea looking on, you know. Things aren't as complicated as they appear to be, but they appear to be that way. Yeah. Yeah, and... Well, things like I was listening to Grim talking about uh, Nixon took us off the gold standard. Okay. Well, yeah, Nixon took us off the gold standard. But if you go back even further than Nixon, the government was confiscating gold long before Nixon took us off the gold standard. <laughs> yeah. He, they okay. Were, what, in the 30s? Yeah. And way before that, in, in 1913, when the fractional reserve banking was replaced with you know with whatever they were using before that all of the years of interest has never been printed <laughs> plus the, plus the debt they've got the the man made created debt plus the debt of the money being created on top of that it's mm -hmm. such a oh wow 
It's like the Santa Claus or, you know, maybe a religious story where people don't take them as metaphors to describe something. They take them as physical examples of things that took place. <laughs> Not, this represents a concept. No, this is what happened. Wait a minute here. Yeah. You know, wait, the yeah. the bitch was talking to a snake in the garden, and the snake, well, he talked her into doing shit. What the fuck are you, what? Get, I want a bag of those <laughs> mushrooms right now. <laughs> mm. Whatever you're smoking, um, share with the rest of class. Come on, you yeah. tell me that if I didn't go to school and come up with that story and bring it to them, they would have locked me up. But they can write about it like it's normal, these fucking religion nutter jackasses. Well, you know, it's like I say, you see the guy standing on the street corner, and I did actually last time I was in Denver, which has been a while. Uh, I saw someone standing on the street corner with the end is nigh, and everybody was giving them a wide berth. And yet, these are the people that we're supposed to be basing our morality on in the Bible. <laughs> You know, the, the <laughs> same kind of guy <laughs> that come out in a dirty sheet and had a few sheep following him. <laughs> yeah. So, the end yeah. is nigh. The Lord has spoken to me. <laughs> and everybody there is going, oh, he's a prophet. <laughs> and for generations and for centuries, people have been going, oh, he's a prophet. Oh, <laughs> Oh, here's a guy on a street corner saying same damn shit. Ooh, stay away from him. Yeah. He's dirty. He's when filthy. I, he might rob you. Yeah, when I uh, do it, I'm uh, just... Uh, what's the difference? I'm Timing is everything? Is that what it is? <laughs> well, when I do it, I'm just drunk. When old dead people oh. do it... See, it's just... Oh, yeah. That's what I mean. The movies made it so much easier than the books ever did. Because there was a time they could even financially controlled populations could or could not be allowed to read. So things change over the last few hundred years, I would say. <laughs> and, you know, I think they, they told us, you know, you're allowed hmm. to read. And so more, it's like that reverse psychology thing hmm. to get people to go, oh, I want to read, I want to read. And ha if you stop and think about it, how else do they get your mind under such a spell. You're I don't know. allowed to read now. As no. opposed to, you know, having the the oral or oral history traditions mm. where you from like the age of two they started training you so that make sure that you got it exactly right so you didn't screw up the history. Mm -hmm. But now that now that they're ooh, the printing press made it for to where we can edit because look, it's in print. <laughs> look, I can teach you how to read it. Yeah. So now you no longer have that oral history tradition where you had to keep it right. Even if history was his story, it was still, you had to keep it. And now it's, oh, we got to burn that book. Because that, that makes us look like we've actually progressed beyond nigga Jim and all and Injun Joe, we can't have that kind of shit. Got to burn them books because they got bad words in them. Really, really. Yeah, All it's right. already happened. Yeah. Oh, it's it's censorship more than people realize. Well, uh, censorship is such a razor's edge. How you deal with it, you know? Huh? I just figure if something doesn't interest me, I don't pay attention to it. But. There are times when the population's attention is on it, bringing your attention to it for a moment. You've got to make your, you know, either ignore it or participate. It's, yeah. Yeah. Well, well I, I'm a seed planter. Are you? I plant seeds. I throw all kind of shit out there, and whatever comes up, comes up. Really? You throw shit? Are you a monkey? I sure do. Are you I am a monkey in ah. a cage, but it's a cage of my own construction. Really? Because I bought into the bars. Yeah, well, you don't have a choice. See, that's the part that they kind of leave out. There's no opt-out in the game. There's only a be aware the game exists. But most people playing the game, they don't even know it's a game. They think it's real. Oh, yeah. 
Well, you know, the best thing you can do is be aware it's a game and play the game to your own advantage as much as as possible. Yeah, you know, Grimm and Cirque are doing a Monday night show. You still ain't caught it? I caught the first one. Oh, no, they've been at it for like three weeks now. So you're way behind, you neglectful friend. I know, I'm going to have to, I think tomorrow, because, yeah, Wayne's going to be out harvesting. Ooh. So I will have the house to myself tomorrow. So really? I will be able to catch up on them. You're not going uh to Mom's? I will go to Mom's on Monday. Okay. All right. Checking it. All right. I got lost. Tomorrow's Sunday. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Duh. But I, just, I you know. go to Mom's on Monday mornings. Well, just passing on that the, you know, the wife and Grim have been uh, doing the show on Monday. Cool. There you go. Yes, yeah. I know this. Yeah. And I actually talked to my siblings, and I mm. said, if it works better for some of you, mm. for you to take like a weekend and then have a Monday, Tuesday, you know, to spend a little more time with mom, yeah. I can go to Wednesday, Thursdays. So, you know, apparently the siblings are still chewing on that one because nobody's given me any response yet. But mm-hmm. Well, you know, whatever happens, you guys will be fine with it. Oh, You'll yeah. work something out. Oh, yeah. I don't. I don't have any problem with any of that. I got well, problem I'm with thinking... Rockefeller Medicine and its agents. Yes, and it's yeah. Because agents provocateur. Yeah, I'm. I'm anti everything that everybody else around me is for. Just about. I'm. I'm pretty much. If it's an alphabet soup agency, yeah. I ain't got nothing I want to do with it. Yeah, but see, I'm still relatively young in in the scope of how long people are living now here. And yeah. I've got the advantage of some semblance of uh, not being crippled yet. In my whole life, I only broke two fingers out of a whole body. Never broke Good anything. Right. Well, other folks my age and a little older weren't so lucky on the road. You know, so they got disadvantages that... You know, make put them in in a weaker looking position than I'm in physically. You know, for age. And I'm just thinking, yeah. wow, Cirque wasn't kidding. If if I take care of myself on purpose, you know, don't get hit by a meteor by some kind of fluke because shit happens. I I could mm-hmm. I could probably do eighty and l- unless of course this COVID wipes us out in some other kind of you know <sighs> way. Because they're going to use it on us as far as they can. Oh, yeah. It's just the fucking... Con- How dare these political fucking cunts and these medical bitches do this to the ignorant among us and make them perform like trained dogs? It, it's, it's embarrassing to see people overreact to this level to something so harmless. Well... It is I, a collective program. And I see 70-year-old people when I go out in public every fucking day. It's not unnatural. It's just the, the people that are ill and bedridden, they're not out doing anything. Those people are ill and bedridden. So, you know, it's like the explanation to save us is all backwards. Take care of the old people. Fuck, jeez. Take them their food. You know, or whatever their their requirements are. Don't make them go out and do it theirself. Fuck's sake, they're old people. And I think old here is beyond 80. Well, yeah. My mom doesn't have to do grocery shopping anymore, but occasionally she does want to go to the grocery store. Well, but she keeps telling me she doesn't want to go with my brother Rick because he knows everybody. Mm. And what should be a 20-minute trip takes two hours because he stops and talks to everyone. <laughs> and I just, when she told me that, I said, "Mother, you do the same thing." Uh, well, I know. <laughs> I want to. I want to end the show with a thing that happened today. Okay. When me and first, me and me and first, when Cirque and myself first moved into the house. About six, almost six years ago, I met a man in the neighborhood, and we used to pass each other constantly walking. He went on his way to the grocery store. He would carry his crap back and whatnot. And today, six years later, 
he's in a, a scooter. And over the years, I saw him change from walking to walking with a cane to now he's got a mobile scooter thing and he runs around on it. <laughs> so when I passed him today, it was just made me feel so good that I can still walk. And, you know, that the state's good enough to him that he doesn't have to keep trying because he gave up. But he kept going, you know, right into having a cane. But whatever got him, he's done. You know, he wants to run around in the scooter. So, cool. But it made me more, you know, more aware of, wow, I can still fucking walk. <whistles> Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I'm not, uh, hmm, I'm not one of those, oh, grateful kind of people until it's uh, brought to my attention somehow. And, it, and I'm like Brownie the Mule. I'm a fucking mule. You got to get my attention first. Before you can show me the thing, I don't give a fuck. I'm a mule. <laughs> but I paid attention to this guy because our paths crossed constantly. And as he digressed, but the state here doesn't, uh, they don't take advantage of their old. Yeah. Yeah. Well, those yeah. scooter bikes aren't cheap, you know. No, they're not. But you know what? My mother keeps getting phone calls that she is qualified for one through Medicare. Oh, okay. Yeah. I got to tell the joke now because uh, Grimner asked, who the hell is Brownie the Mule? Once upon a time in the Nebraska Territory, there was a farmer named Farmer Brown. Farmer Brown had a mule. That mule could pull 20 times the land of any other mule forever. All the land around him. And all the other farmers got together, and in their jealousy, they, they decide they're going to buy the mule from Farmer Brown. And he says, well, I want $200. And they went, you're nuts. And then they got together and talked about it, and their greed overpowers their common sense. So they buy the fucking mule. And they put him out to the field, and then the first part of the day, he's out there plowing like a motherfucker. About middle of the day, he stops, sits his ass down, won't move. So the they went back to the farmer and they said, you told us to give him lots of love and affection and the, the mule ain't moving. We've given him sweet water and carrots and apples and he's just sitting there on his ass. We're going to hang you. He says, give me a minute. He picks up a two by four. He says, take me over to the mule. He walks up to him and he takes a shot right at his skull. The mule falls completely over on his side and he stands up, starts pulling. And they said, but Farmer Brown, you told us all to give him lots of love and affection to get him to pull like that. And you go beating on him. He looks at the crowd and he says, well, he's a fucking mule, people. <laughs> there you go. Brownie the mule. <laughs> hmm. I'm a mule. I, I know that. It's something you either you accept it or you don't. And, you know. Just because, yeah, well, I'm like that. It's just something I have to either accept it or pretend it doesn't exist. And pretending it doesn't is way worse than just accepting it. <laughs> I'm Brownie the Mule. Get my attention. <laughs> oh. Yeah. But you don't do it physically. You do it with words. True. Yeah. And True. Yeah. Then you end up on the dork table with me. ha, <laughs> ha. Oh, dear Lord. But we're at the end. And that's when it all went to shit. Yeah, I sent I sent Grimmar notes for the show already. Yay. Because I spent the end of it just bullshitting around. <laughs> like, like I was hanging out in some nasty bar in North Carolina. <laughs> yeah. Telling bad jokes. but That's okay. What? Because the drunker people get, the funnier the joke gets. <laughs> the... Smoker you get, the player you are. There you go. Or is it the smoker you are, the player you get? Joe Walsh. It's such a weird album title. It's done so well you can't repeat it. I can't repeat it. Other people can repeat it. But me, I always fuck it up. Ah, Grimner. Good. We did a uh, we did a show there, Miss Mary. What do you think? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Pardon me? Okay, we got, uh, tomorrow we got Hal Anthony doing a show at noon on yep. the West Coast. Uh, behind the Woodshed. 
And then on Monday yep. you got. But before what? that, Grammy before does the blues. Ooh, take us away, Miss Mary. Yeah, Grammy does the blues. Sunday mornings leading into Halloween, <coughs> honey. I, or it's morning for me at least. Um, and then you got, I do know there is, it's all connected. It's all connected. It's all, which I do love their internet. <laughs> pretty too. Clever group. And it is yeah. all connected. You yeah. just, most people don't see yeah. the connections, but it is. Yeah. Every little bit is connected. And that's Grimmy and Cycle on mm. Mondays. What time is that, Flasher? That's, uh, Three. Uh, wait a minute. On the it's like one or two, one one or two. I think it's two o'clock on the East Coast. It's six p. Oh. Eight p.m. here is six okay. hours earlier in New York. So it's two p.m. on so, the East Coast. Okay. Cool. Cool. So is that one? That would be like Grimmy, are noon. You mountain time or Central time? I think he's noon for mountain Grimm. time. I think he's eight hours different than us. He's either seven or eight. I've never bothered to remember it. Well, and I never remember if he's Mountain Time or or Central Time. So he says the. Oh, he says smoker. Mountain Time. So okay, so it's nooner. It's a nooner for Grim. <laughs> See, I told you, the smoker you drink, the player you get. There you go. Hey, Joey you Walsh. Go. Thank you, Joe. No relation oh, to Doug creepy. Says it's mounting time. Oh. Ouch. Oh, and it is that time, isn't it? Mm. So I suppose. Oh. Get a uh, and I don't hmm? get a uh, list off the RLM, and you can find out where all the shows are. Yeah, nice. RLM's got a schedule there, so you can check it out. Because I know, do you still do your Perfect World on Tuesdays when you are of a mind? Oh man, lately I've just been not doing it regularly at all. Just uh, hmm, don't know. Just well, no, no okay. real. Yeah, it's bad. No real uh. Feeling to, to entertain anybody with my thoughts on those particular uh, nights. And my birthday fell on one. I was going to take the world over that night. And then when it well, came time nice. to, to do the show, I was too high to bother with it. I went, fuck it, I'm going to do other things. Well, there you go. Got selfish. Well, and I actually mm-hmm. have been kind of tossing around coming back and doing a solo. but Oh, that doesn't. would be nice. So I think you should. And you know who else would be probably be fun for you to talk to? Cirque. Yeah. Cirque does good on the radio with you wacky yes, Americans. Yes, she does. Yeah. She does a wonderful job. Her, yeah, her, yes, and, uh, her and Grim are flowing real nice and smooth. So. Yes, and I need to get caught up on that. But Something to think about healthy. that make a, a, you know, like a hello pop-up or something. Ah. Thing. Mm. You know. Bye, everybody. Thanks a lot yeah. for dorking with us. Thank you for listening in. See you, love you, bye.